students welcome to this lecture uh, i am sneha ambedkar working as an assistant professor for computer department in pace modern college of engineering pune and i uh, teach the subject computer network security for third year so let's see what the things are happening in this course so basically uh, this course has two way to study uh, it has only oral and uh, theory subject so we have a mid sem for 30 marks and sem for 70 marks and the oral is for uh, 25 marks okay and after learning this subject you will get to know about what is meant by network how the network works what are the protocols are available to perform the operation regarding network area okay so these are the course objectives and these are the course outcomes and today i will provide the learning regarding about introduction to computer networks okay so let's start so in this session you will get to know about the introduction about network then types of networks network models network architectures network devices and line coding systems so these are the main contents are available through unit 1 but we have a short time of span so let's see how things will cover in this session okay so let's start so basically the unit 1 starts with what is meant by network okay so network means when you have to connect your devices to internet so there are many platforms so with the help of computers with the help of servers with the help of mainframes with the help of network devices you can connect your internet and browse the data and that browser also allows you to sharing your data via the network platform okay so you can see this diagram in that uh, how the systems are connected to the hub hub is a network device which connects multiple systems then the hubs are then connected to router and the router is a main platform where the network passes and the router is main connected to the internet okay and there are again one more type that is wireless router so the wireless router also connect with the help of wifi as you know very well okay so the next is what are the examples of network devices so as i explained you earlier in the diagram you can see the hub router switches wireless router so these are the network devices okay so let's move to the meaning of computer network so you now you know very well what is meant by network but how the network operations are performed in computer so we will see one by one okay so what it's saying that the computer network is a system which connects the numerous independent computers to share the information and resources okay so you know very well so when you are coming to the labs then basically you have to log in with our your internet id then you can access the data so it means you are connected to our college lab uh, college network area then you can easily access to them okay so how it works so basically our in labs you can see that the systems are connected through lan and the lans are connected to the switches and the switches are connected to the routers okay so uh, that one is the example but uh, if we can say in the simple language the computer network simply works using the node and links it means the node is a part which link is to which links to the uh, hardware parts okay and as you can see as i said earlier also the hub switches are the uh, examples where the devices they provide you the platform to connect to your network okay the next part is like what we can do with computer network it's simple you can share your data you can uh, perform few operations uh, main aim of this computer network is like if you want to connect to the client to the server or to the organization so computer network helps you to connect and lastly it provides a data security that is a very big part okay the next is what are the goals with computer networking again the goals are like it reduces the cost it means uh, if you are connected in the lan so uh, you can easily share your data you can easily access the data then the next is like reliability so reliability means when the machine get fails you can check the data to the another devices and you can easily access it okay okay and the third one is communication and mail that is you know very well you can send the mails uh, through mails you can send 
the images the videos many more things okay and yeah lastly the social networking you know very well what are the social networking so now the next part which i covered in this session is like the types of cn it means types of computer network so there are main two types that is first is division based on the communication medium and the second is division based on area covered so in that you will see how the network is provided okay so let's see first division based on the communication medium okay so basically this part is divided into wired network and wireless network okay so let's see what is meant by division based area covered so in the division based area covered now you will get an idea about <coughs> LAN, MAN and WAN. It means local area network, metropolitan area network and wide area network. Okay. And we can see the details and as you know very well the LAN means local area network. You can see these uh, type of networks in our college lab laboratories also. So this is the diagram regarding that all the computers, all the laptops, all the printers are connected to the switch and router. Okay. The next is metropolitan area network. Basically this type of network is provided in a large city or multiple cities to uh, share the large area uh, large area or we can say the large uh, files uh, that were that is not covered in the LAN. that all things are covered in the van okay so as we seen in the diagram so you can see the or multiple organizations are connected through MAD, that is university campus, office building and government buildings. And the bigger part of the next network is like WAN, okay? So basically, the best example of wide area network is our cloud storage. So you, mostly the Google platform, the Microsoft platform, the iPhone, Apple platform also, they are providing you the Google storage area they provide you the services like you can store your data on that cloud and that cloud is handled by wide area network okay so you can see the wide area network um, figure so basically in the wide area network the things are connected via vpn via internet via third party vendors primary site centralized voice and redundant voice data center okay so this is all about <clears throat> types of computer networks so then we will see so these things are connected with wired but now what is meant by wireless so basically you have a good idea about wireless network it means when you think about wireless so you will get the picture of wi-fi okay so that wi-fi signals are used to apply the access point so they basically amplify the wi-fi signals so that if your device is far from that area still you can get the wi-fi hotspot and you can easily access the network okay so why the wireless is better so you will get the convenience you can get the mobility means you can you don't need to attach any wired things or you don't need to sit in a proper position to access the net so wireless is a good as compared to wired network okay so the next part i have to cover is like the osi model that is a very interesting part that is a very important part which is based on our network so basically what is mean by osi model so it stands for open system interconnection okay so here you can see there are a total seven layers available so with the help of that layer you can perform the internet operations you can perform the computer network operations so now let's see what are the layers so basically these are the seven layers okay so it starts with physical data link network transport session presentation application but these seven layers are divided into <coughs> two parts first three layers are first three layers are connected to the responsibility of the network and the last four parts are connected to the responsibility to the host okay so let's see one by one these osi models 
okay so so you can if you want to re, uh, analyze or if you want to recall the responsibilities of oslrs so we can <coughs> see this diagram so basically the first is physical layer so in the physical layer it provides the physical medium through which the bits are get transmitted okay so what happens actually so when you are transferring the data so the data is get converted into the binary form and that binary form data is split it into the bit form and that bit platform is get moved to the next layers okay then the bit formatted data come to the data link layer and that in that data link layer we basically take care about our data it means that data should be error free or after error free we can transfer the data into frames then what is the next part so when the data is get stored in frames we get transferred to the next layer that is network layer okay so that data frames are get converted into the packets and now the packets are get transferred from source to destination okay so now what is the role of transport layer okay so basically the transport layer provides the platform to delivery the message from process to process it means there are total two protocols available in our transport layer that is tcp and udp tcp means it stands for transmission control protocol so basically again it it covered in wired network and udp is the another part which comes in the transport layer so that is user datagram protocol that is wireless network okay so now what is the role of session layer then okay so when the communication communication is get established after that the data is get transferred next process comes is like session layer so basically this layer is used to establish manage and terminate the sessions it means you got the data from the source area then the destination part check what is the data then they will start to work on them and then the session layer terminates the process okay then what is the role of presentation okay so basically presentation is responsible for translating the data compressing the data and if is there any problem regarding security then it provides the encryption platform okay and the lastly is application layer so finally when the product is ready then it provide to the client or to the user and then user will handle it okay so this is the little bit short introduction about what is meant by computer network what are the types and the main thing i covered in this is osi model okay in the next lecture we will try to cover in detail how this layer works thanks for attending my lecture see you soon